Hi, so I'm just going to spend a minute talking about the map block and how you can use it to change the elements in a list. So first of all, I'm going to make a list of words. I've, I've declared a couple of global variables. One of them is words. And I'm going to make words to, into a list with these four items, dog, cat, list, and word. And so when you run that command, you get those four items in a list. Now the map block can do whatever you ask it to inside this gray area and it will do it to every item of whatever list you specify. So I'm going to take the list of words and I'm going to add something to each element. So let's take the join block and put it in the gray box there. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make one of the blocks empty. And over here, whatever I put in this block is going to be joined onto each element of that list. So now let's just take S like they did in the example. So what it's going to do, it's going to take every element in that list of words and put it, put it one at a time into that empty box and then execute this command join. So it's going to join dog, put dog in that box, and add an S to it. Then it's going to take cat and list and word, and one at a time it's going to add the S to it. That's what the join command does. So if I click on it, what you get is all the elements of that list, but with an S joined onto them. It does it one at a time, it does it to the entire list, and then creates a new list, doesn't change the original one, creates a new list with the, with the outcome. Now just to show you another example, I'm going to put the S at the first box. Now the blank box is where it puts each element of the list. So this time it's going to join S with dog the other way around. And then S with cat the other way around. So you run it by clicking on it and you get S dog instead of dog S. S cat, S list, S word. It still executes this joins command. It joins the S. But again, wherever the blank box is, that's, what, that's where each element of that list gets put. And suppose you want to save it as a new list. Well, you, you'd have to create a new variable. Uh, let's call it new words. Right? And then use the set command. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save this new list now. I'm going to call it new words. I take that map block and put it in here. So it's going to it's going to execute this command and then save it in this new list called new words. I take it and I run it and I've got the new words which has the join command executed for each element. S plus dog, S plus cat, etc. Now you can do the same kind of thing with a list of numbers. So I've, I'm going to make a list of numbers with the elements 2, 4, 6, and 8. Click on it. And here I've got this list called numbers. It's got these four numbers in it because that's what I told it to have. And here I can do whatever kind of math I want. So tell you what, I'm going to take the plus operator and put it in that side, that gray box. Whatever I do in here, in that gray box, it's going to execute it on every element of the list and again, whatever list I tell it to use. So I put numbers in there. So suppose I put one in. What it's going to do is take each element of that list of numbers, put it in that box, the empty box, one at a time. It's going to add one to it. So it's going to add one to two. It's going to add one to four, add one to six, add one to eight. So when I click on it to run it, My list of new numbers is going to get one added to each element of numbers. So it's going to take two, add one to it, get three. Four, add one to it, get five. Six, add one to it, get seven. Eight, add one to it, get nine. And uh, like we've seen with composition, I can make this more complicated if I want to. So tell you what, what I'm going to do now. I'm going to multiply each element 
again, this blank box represents each element. I'm going to multiply it by 2 and then add 1. So 2 times 2 plus 1, 2 times 4 plus 1, 2 times 6 plus 1, etc. When I click on the box, or the, the, the command, okay, it takes 2, multiplies it by 2 and adds 1, gets 5. 2 times 4 plus 1 is 9. 2 times 6 plus 1, you get the idea. So I can put in here whatever kind of function I want. It's just going to take each element of whatever list I tell it, you know, I give it to it, give it the name of the list. It's going to take each element of that list and create a new element by running that function over it. So I get the 5, 9, 13, and 17. And if I want to save it as a new list, I create that variable and use the set command. And it makes that new list for me. Right, so that's a brief introduction. Hope it helps.